time is currently 5.28 a.m. We're now headed out to launch the balloon. Uh, just got to get everybody loaded up and woken up. And we'll hopefully launch by oh seven hundred hours from Cooperstown, North Dakota. Oh, is it? Is that the, the no. first one or is that the second line? No, that was the first line. Swe no, you're right. You're right. Maybe tell me kiss. I swear I can fly. Oh, you mean my heart beat I want this to last. I need you in my life. Every time we... The time is 7.26 a.m., Marty. <laughs> Uh, not right oh, now. Man. Maybe later. Okay. Cool. Get this action right here. Okay, I'm getting this action. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm gonna stick these, apply directly to the side of the thing. Why? It's gonna Wait. be negative. A billion degrees up there. Gotta keep it warm. That is exactly how cold it's gonna be. Um. <laughs> He's not gonna stick. I'm gonna strap him in. Yeah, we wanna we wanna be safe. How many G's is, is he gonna be experiencing? <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. A lot of G stand. times. <laughs> what does that mean?
So here's the current situation. It is about four hours into the flight. Um, the longest prediction was a three hour flight. Right now we're looking at around seven hour flight, eight hour flight. Um, when we wanted, what we wanted was a two to three meter per second ascent rate. And what we're looking at now, based on the tracking, is just around a meter a second ascent rate. Um, what that means is that the balloon is going to go stay up way longer and go way further. So instead of picking it up somewhere in um, eastern North Dakota like we wanted to, it's going to end up being in western Minnesota. received word a few minutes ago that uh, the balloon has popped from my dad um, and uh, so the max altitude was 26,378 meters it's descending more rapidly than I would hope for at about 13 meters a second so what I'm hoping is that the atmosphere either thickens or whatever if there's something wrong with the parachute that That'll open up and we'll kind of slow down that descent there as we uh, as we get lower and closer. Hello there. Uh, so I'm out here in the field of North Dakota. I drove right over there, there's my car. You can see it. And I'm here to get, I can't even see it now, that. So we're coming up on the balloon now. Uh, let's check it out. All right. So obviously the balloon uh, popped a little, and the connection is still intact. It's all the string is in good shape. The parachute is in good shape. Uh, definitely will reuse that again. Here, see the flip on its back. The antenna's pretty jacked up. Probably be able to bend it back though. But I still got the GoPro on there. It's not on though, so I'm assuming it ran out of battery. And got my other camera on there. I guess we'll just have to open it up and check it out. Alright, it took me a year to get this camera angle, but this is the best I got. Uh, I'm gonna unbox it now and we'll take a look inside. The paracord that is used for the harness. This thing's pretty bent up. I'm gonna take this camera off first. Still seems to be in good shape. All right, moment of truth. Let's see what we got in here. It's pretty cold. Um, these are all spent. 
Um, let's see. The board's still on. Seems to be transmitting. I don't know how much life these have. I can give them a test later. This backup battery is still charging full. Um, this is like my attempt to basically have. So this GoPro has a battery backup. So it, it was supposed to have like about five hours of battery life. Um, this knockoff GoPro that I mounted doesn't have uh, an option to do that. So I just took a backup um, portable battery for like recharging devices and stuff. And I attached it to it and then sent it on its way. So it only is three. It still has three quarter battery left, so hopefully that kept this battery powered the whole time. John has made it successfully after his voyage. Seems like a success. Hopefully we got video footage, but at least we recovered, recovered the craft. And uh, we'll have to do a flood analysis and stuff like that.